Okay, let's, uh, let's figure out how to develop the skill for blending with ballistic strikes, okay? So we start with fixated motion. And his grip, his structure is helping me find the yin spaces in it, okay? So I'm not going like this. I am using his grip to blend so that becomes effortless. He's pushing and I find my way around all of those obstacles and get it to work. So if you look, boom, boom, not like this. See that difference? So, boom, body, body. So here he is, he's pushing, and you're gonna see the difference. Do you see? Uh, not it, okay? Boom. So I'm in the way, you see? I'm in the way, and I'm gonna move out of the way. Watch my hand. So it starts here, oh, and goes around. Body, body moves. Inhale, exhale. Okay, let's try that. So, let's look at this in terms of architecture. So you're, you're seeing a kind of topsy-turvy effect on his body, right? Right, right. okay. So you're thinking, uh, spin the propeller, boom, right? Or you're thinking, uh, pull him, see that? Those all require muscle. Why not let him fall into that spot? Do you see that? So here you go. You're cutting this, or you're pulling this, and what you want to do instead is just let him fall into that spot. So some of you are just way off because you're cutting like this, and that will not translate into a ballistic carrying, the kind of musubi for ballistic, because he throws a strike, and you're going like that, and that's not Aikido. Then some of you are like, okay, I got here, and then you go, I don't trust this. You see that? And then now your performance envelope goes down. So instead, once you get here, trust, trust, you're not doing anything. So marginally, right, when I'm not pulling him, I am free to hit. When I'm pulling him, you're checking yourself out at the same time. So here I got my ankle disturbance. Do you understand? That's all I want. And boom, I'm going to knock him out. I don't care if you, how he falls. Do you understand? You're prioritizing Aikido like aesthetic, aesthetics. You would just knock the hell out of him. Okay, so you get your, your angle disturbance and let it do its thing. You can see how relaxed. Don't go here and then oh, get you. Very relaxed. So you can see there's none of this. You see, none of this. I'm not going from my right to my left. The hand went up, right? This way, around it, here. Different. Okay, let's go. So here's where we're gonna lose a lot more people. Uh, the uke who is still afraid is not gonna be able to help you in this, so we might divide up. But Katata Dori is a kind of training wheels for the art. Um, that's why we spend a lot of time on it. 
you can learn a lot of the skill sets, but they're a little more distant from all the applications, okay? So we also have kata dori, right? And like katata dori, it's a fixated movement. And I use my fixated movements to help me get to my ballistics. You understand? So the ballistic equivalent of kata dori, kata dori, shoulder grab, is yokomenuchi, opo, okay? Or any ballistic strike coming on a horizontal plane. Do you understand? So, katata dori is kind of the master of fixated. Kata dori is a fixated equivalent to yokomen, but yokomen is a kind of master plan for all horizontal plane traversing. So as he goes to uh, kata dori, I have to do the same thing. So here it's fixated on, right? It's fixated. And now I don't let him grab me, but I'm doing the same exact blending. I'm not gonna go, let's do this side. I'm not gonna go like that. You see? I'm blending around it. Just like swords connecting and he goes past me. So, just like always, all connection begins before he actually extends out to you. So I stay connected. Boom. And you're going to see he can't do this and bend his elbow. Like you scaredy cat as we're doing to use as a rolling pivot point. Okay? Go on. Fine. Okay, let's try it. Hi, so this is the hard part of your own practice. And it is the hard part of all the weapon arts. That's why this is what's popular nowadays. Okay, so you have a dabbler culture, don't train enough. Let's take the weapons out. And we'll just do this. So he does the horizontal, right? And you're gonna. But if it's a knife, you're fucked. Okay? So it's not a free-for-all. There's a couple of things you have to understand. When we did katate, you've been told a million times, connection is prior to. You remember that? But you always train like this, after the fact. Now the thing is moving at you, and now you, you can't do that for ballistic. So connection is already here. It's already here, he goes, you see how I'm moving. Watch when he moves, try to watch when he moves. You move whenever you want, right? Mmm, mmm, can you see that? He goes, you see that difference? So I have to develop that skill. I have to develop the skill of connection without contact, got it? And I can only develop the skill by countless reps. Reps, 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 over and over and over. So we can go slow and I'm moving. Then start to pay attention. I'm not only moving when he moves, not after he moves, when he moves. But my first movement, you ask yourself, is it towards him, towards me, or not towards anything? Go. Towards him. Not like this. Look at the difference. Oh my God, that's scary as hell to my body. Mm. Okay? So he goes and I'm moving towards him. But, Virginia, I am not moving towards him. I'm blending with him. So he moves and pull. 
reach. So it'll help if I stay. Okay, third point. Let's look, go back to this. I don't want to hang out on the wrist. He comes here, I'm not on the wrist. Look where I'm at. You see, right here below his elbow. Wrist, too much slack in the shoulder. Inside the elbow, above it, doesn't work. Right below it, that's where my arm fits. You see? It's not a free for all. So I can't go like this. I can't start there, then leave it, you see? Keep that connection point. Keep that connection point, but in that reconciling way. I'm still going around it. I'm just laying my sword on his sword, okay? Let's go. Yeah, I'll make the, make the point again. So as he, as he comes in, right, I am going for that part on his arm. Can you roll your sleeve up? Yes. So this part right here, you see that, okay? This basic thing, when you're on the inside of the arm, you're below the elbow. When you're on the outside of the arm, you're above the elbow. So outside of the arm, tricep tendon of insertion, right there. Below the arm, you take that same inch, and you're right here. So you're not here, you're not here. You're not here, okay? So he comes in, right? And I find that spot. When I find that spot, it's not that I'm cutting down and shoving it down. I'm doing the same thing, katate. I'm doing the same feeling of katate where I'm going around the, the contact points. You understand? So he goes with this. I'm still there and I'm going around that. I'm just laying my sword on top of his, not cutting down. Around, I keep that. So if he, when he falls really fast, my arm has to stay up with him. Do you understand? Right. I don't let it go like this, and then, whoa, whoa, you're gonna lose contact. So I go, whoa. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay.